okay so in the last one we checked against our uh, table my uh, our InnoDB engine table and now we will check it against our uh, table uh, which is uh, my sm table okay uh, if you see here uh, this is uh, my sm table uh, you can check that from here as well so create table okay and this one slash g if you see here the engine type is my ism so uh, now we need to check uh, how it is uh, going to have the effect uh, when we skip the uh, event uh, when the table is uh, uh, is my ism so let's check uh, show slave status first and let me see uh, how is it so if you see here uh, everything is running okay and if you see the table here uh, my ism table it's already had one record okay and uh, let's do some insertion on the uh, others on the master side and see uh, what is going to happen so as we know that uh, my sm are not a transactional uh, database transaction tables uh, so it is what is going to happen here so if you see here uh, i did some insertion and uh, let's uh, me show you what is the current situation here so we have three record inside our my sm table before it has none and uh, let's check the same thing on our this side so it has now if you see here uh, what we did is that this record was already there and what we did is that we inserted a, a record which was a valid record then we inserted a record which is not valid and then uh, if you see here we inserted another valid record but what happened here is the last time uh, in InnoDB uh, engine uh, table uh, it only showed the same record okay it skipped the whole transaction but uh, in my ISM case is uh, what uh, is uh, my SM InnoDB uh, like uh, uh, is not a transactional table so it will uh, deal every statement as a transaction single transaction so okay so it will uh, it will uh, like create another begin and commit uh, for this one create another begin and commit for this one and create another begin and commit for this one as well so that is why uh, it's uh, the first one uh, got written into this and if you see here uh, show slave status you will see that uh, we have got an error okay uh, and it uh, the error went for only uh, duplicate entry one that record uh, and that is why it got failed so uh, how why it is happening so let me show you the binary log file show binary log uh, of the master log files and let me show you that how it is working okay so let me check this binary log file only that should be enough for us uh, it's 0 2 okay so I want to show you that how uh, it looks okay so if you see here uh, I tried to do some records insertion if you see here uh, I did only one commit or uh, did only one transition but if you see here every record is having its own begin and commit okay close if you see here this is one record and if you see here uh, this is another record I'm looking into the master one okay uh, begin and in the same the my sm table okay see here in the my sm table I did just I did this records just right now so have its own commit and begin and this one also have its own begin and commit okay the, the second record I did so that is why uh, it looks like this and oh, use test so uh, let's now skip the error okay so this is how it's going to work so let's skip the error and see uh, what will be the result okay so okay so let's skip this error the same thing uh, provide this okay uh, what I did is there uh, set uh, the skip counter to this one and uh, start SQL save thread so if you now check the show slave status everything is fine now and but uh, last time you see here check the records okay uh, this is only one and three and now let's see what are the records if you see here we have another record because as, as I told you 
the information stored inside the binary log file of the master uh, it has been taken as a uh, separate transaction separate everything was separate okay uh, we tried to insert the whole one single transaction here we tried to do this okay in one begin and comment but from the binary log file if you see here uh, it every uh, statement had its own begin and commit that is why uh, even though we even tried to skip the record uh, we saw that uh, we have now the last record as well okay the last record is also here so if you see here we inserted the record this one the last record is also available but uh, in the case of my InnoDB state uh, InnoDB uh, engine uh, we only received only one record okay the so it what it is is that even uh, the problematic statement before and after the problematic system uh, statement in the InnoDB it will skip everything but it's not the same is the case in the um, the table which have uh, engine as my ism so you need to uh, take care uh, like you need to understand this concept uh, like how this is uh, different from uh, my ism and InnoDB engine so that is the difference of uh, working with the sql uh, uh, slave uh, skip counter uh, variable uh, like uh, so that is how it's work so uh, in this case if you set it to two what it will happen like uh, if you had another transaction same like this so it will skip only three and it will insert the next two uh, of the same transaction uh, so th the reason behind is that because uh, my sm uh, is not a transactional table it's not a asset fully asset compliant so okay so transaction doesn't work in the uh, my sm engine so that is why it takes every statement as uh, a single uh, like it's take uh, still if you uh, like do a transaction uh, which has like uh, this and it it doesn't deal it as the whole transaction it deals at a single statement and it will create its own begin and commit at the end so every uh, statement is a uh, separate statement so that is the reason how it's work so i hope you guys have got uh, what got the understanding of this and in the next one uh, we will be doing how if you see here now uh, we have some uh, issues here because uh, our uh, InnoDB uh, has different records on here, okay, and different record here. So both records are different. You see here and see here. So now we need to do the consistency check, and we will need to have uh, we need to sync the replication. The replication is not synced now. Uh, so that is uh, what we will be doing in the uh, next uh, next one. Okay, see you in the next one.